Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. And today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. I know who this is from, but I don't know what's in here. It feels like it could be more than one thing. So we're gonna, we're gonna go on this journey together. Thanks so much uh, to the people who sent this. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this box. I feel like it's more than one thing or it's just, I don't know, it's just really dense packaging or it's just one really big knife. Um, if this is available, you guys know I'll link it down below. It does help my channel when you use those links, uh, but that's entirely up to you. It is more than one thing. Okay, what do we got here? We got this, and we got this. Interesting, okay. So, which one should we do first? So this says KT Griffin, okay, De uh, designed by David Jin. And then this is the Kamasu. Designed by BSD Braden, uh, Sweden. Okay, let's open this one first. What do we have here? Something kind of wild? Yeah, definitely. But that's the kind of stuff that's fun, right? <laughs> wow. I like immediately that it's a full-size knife. Is this a button lock? Hold on. Let's try the... Whoa. It's weird. This is a weird one. So, yeah, it definitely has... The, I mean, it's a button lock. Um, what is this area in here? Is this like a... Supposed to be like a forward choil area? Wow. Definitely. Um, what's... There's... Like, I always want to say, like, futuristic. But that's a really stupid, like... It's just... I'm just not able to be more creative than that when I'm trying to describe this thing. Um, but, yeah, the machining on it is wild... <laughs> Quechua is like a partner brand to Reich. And I believe it is the Reich OEM, right? Like like Reich is OEMing these for the Quechua um, company. The way that I understand it, it's confusing because Quechua is sometimes the brand. They're also a retailer for other brands that are having Reich do uh, knives. So... I'm trying to get that all nailed down. The inlay work is nice. We have a little filler tab back here. Uh, looks like you can mount, yeah, that's so you can mount the pocket clip on either side. That's nice. Um, we have, that's interesting. Does this come with tools? It definitely does come with extra hardware, which is nice. That's cool that they included that. And then we have the uh, Griffin. Is that, again, what it was called? Yeah, the KT Griffin. Okay. Well, this is a weird one. I really like that they went full size. I don't know how I feel. I'll tell you what is really bothering me. It's this area right here. I kind of want this to be a little less squared off. Outside of that, though, it's pretty cool. And the lockout is solid, right? I think we have just some oil or something out here. Maybe. A little bit of discoloration there. Boy, the finish is really nice. Hold on, let's see if I can get that off of there. Um, because I didn't realize about that finish there. Get one of my microfiber cloths. You guys know that I only only ever keep two or three of those. I'm kidding. Let's uh, just real quick, let's see if I can get that off the blade. Because now I really want to look at that finish up close. Okay. Yeah, it did. It did come off. That is a really, really nice finish. Look at that. That's beautiful. I think they call this their. Is it? No, it was some other company that has a similar. Um, I mean, I'm sure it's done exactly the same way, and they call it like their pearlescent finish, something like that. Um, I don't know that that's really an accurate way to describe it at all, but it is really nice what they're doing here. Um, so yeah, okay. So there's the first one. And then this other one here is called the Kamasu. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And it's definitely another larger knife, which is great. This looks like more of a simple titanium frame lock with some, I don't wanna say simple, right? It's kinda neat. We get the fuller down here. Nice, large, 
fasteners. These are T8 for sure. Uh, milled clip, milled backspacer. This is, oh, I was about to say, <laughs> I was about to say, there's a liner. Well, yeah, of course, right? Because this is an inlay. For some reason in my brain, I was thinking the whole side was carbon fiber. And I was going to say, oh, it's nice. They did like a titanium liner on one side. No, it's just, well, they only did that piece of carbon fiber on one side though. Then we have an exposed frame lock over here. Nice detent, simple. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna call it reverse tanto blade, right? You can call it whatever you want. Um, and most likely, yeah, M390. I'm gonna guess that the price is pretty good on both of these. Um, I haven't seen it yet. Like as of the moment of the recording, I haven't seen it yet. This is a big knife, I'm gonna measure it here in a sec. But I'm gonna guess just based on what I've seen from, you know, Quechua, um, this is a pretty straightforward build. This one's a little more complicated and it's cool that it's a button lock, right? But this is a pretty straightforward, like premium build. So nowadays with some of these companies, what we're seeing is extremely good pricing versus the competition. This is large. Uh, is this a nine inch folder? I think maybe it is. Yeah, that's nine inches. I mean, maybe just a hair shy. Nope, it's nine inches, and it absolutely has a four-inch blade, a hundred percent. In fact, it's actually a little longer than four inches, like four and an eighth. Cutting edge is just shy of three point seven five. That's a big knife. The other one here is eight and a half with a three point six inch blade, and three and an eighth on the cutting edge because of the weird rectangular choil area. Let's weigh them both. They're both nice, so the build quality is very, very good, right? There's nothing overly complicated going on with this one. This one's a little more complicated. Um, the weight on the big guy here, 5.54 ounces. That's about what I expected. Weight on the smaller guy here, 4.66, which is not bad. Hmm. I don't know. I like them both. They're both nice. Um, it seems like Quechua is wanting to kind of... they So... The, there were a couple of, you know, the, the two knives that kind of, like, there, there was a Rebel Ship and then there's the other one, that, the Cybertrix, I think. And those are like wild, like over the top, really crazy. Uh, you know, it's sort of um, Reich partnering with um, companies who are wanting to show off, you know, what they're capable of doing, right? The design, on the design level, on the OEM level. Um, and that's cool. And those are a lot more expensive. But I think uh, Reich and Ketro, I think maybe Ketro is really, and Ketro is the one that, brought us that uh, design where you could get the zirconium inlays and it was only like 280 which was amazing i think they're definitely interested in kind of tackling this premium knife territory where we've seen a lot of knives that probably should have come in at 170 180 190 but some of these other companies are putting them out there for 250 260 300 right i think they're trying to kind of uh, you know, get into that area, which is good. We need some, uh, you know, titanium M390 and carbon fiber. We need these knives, you know, better priced because the price has been climbing a, a bit too high here lately. Um, so this is cool. Both of these are interesting. You guys will definitely get um, full reviews of each of these knives a few weeks down the road from now. Um, but uh, that's going to be pretty much it for today, guys. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.